I'd like to show you a really, really easy way to make dressing for noodles. One of the favourite noodles that most Asians like to try out would actually be Hiyashi Chuka, which is a Japanese version of cold noodles. But a lot of people think that the sauce is actually really difficult to make. It's not. I'm going to show you how. And you don't really even need a bowl for this, but you do need a container for this. So just grab hold of any glass jar. Okay, why glass? Because once you've done the dressing, you can store it. And anytime you're ready to use it, you can just pour it. So to this glass jar, I'm actually going to add bao trees, pickle and sushi vinegar. I really like it because it's not just for sushi. You can also use it for cold noodles. Pour that right in. Together with a little bit of toasted sesame oil. Some good Japanese soy sauce. Now, if you don't have Japanese soy sauce, your regular soy sauce at home would do as well. Add according to taste. Miso paste. You can use regular white miso if you have them. Or if you have brown miso like this one, you can do that too. And an additional touch is actually chili oil. Give this particular mixture a bit of a stir first, just to dislodge the miso. Cover the lid really, really tight. Place your thumb over the top of the lid and with the base of your hand, support the entire bottle and give it a nice good shake. Make sure that as you shake, you can actually see the vinegar and the oil emulsifying. Bring the mixture in together. And you should get like a nice thick brown liquid. Before we use the seasoning, we want to make sure that our layout is pretty. So to present your Hiyashi Chuka, include a little bit of cucumber, yellow with the egg strips. A little bit of red with the tomato. This is freshly sliced tomatoes. You want to arrange it. And then, Hiyashi Chuka uses traditionally ham, which you can slice. But we've also done a vegetarian version to show you that you can actually use tofu strips. And let's not forget, Hiyashi Chuka also needs some ginger. Ginger goes really, really well with pickles and also with vinegar sushi because it draws out the acidity and the sourness and mellows it slightly. You can also chill it in the fridge before you actually use it so that it's nice and cold. And when you're ready, just drizzle it over the noodles. If you have any leftover, Remember to cap it and keep chilled. This dressing keeps really well in the fridge for about three weeks. So here we have the final presentation for cold soba noodles or hiyashi chuka with bio trees, pickle and sushi vinegar. <laughs>